can we look expensive in clothes from H&M? I don't think you have to go spend a fortune in order to look like you're wearing nice clothes or look smartly dressed. And I wanted to see what we could work with from H&M. So by looking expensive, I don't mean that I wanna to put together outfits that look like we're wearing Gucci, but I want these outfits to give off a polished, sophisticated vibe without looking like we're wearing super cheap clothes. As we all know, just because something's super cheap doesn't mean that it can't look good, and just because something's super expensive doesn't mean that it can't look bad. <laughs> Our goal is to wear cheap clothes but not look like we're wearing cheap clothes. I do have an H&M nearby and I'll be honest, there are a lot of clothes I tried on and didn't even try on because they just looked cheap in the store. I did bring home a couple of items that I felt like looked pretty cheap or just don't really look that good because I wanted to show you what I find that looks not great to me personally. I also have a couple of items that make no sense with this video, but I love them. You may see into my soul. So I will link everything that I'm wearing in the video down below in the description box. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we know that if you wanna look expensive and cheap clothes, one of the easiest ways to do that is to focus on neutrals. Neutral colors, especially if, if they're in like a classic style, easily give off that polished, sophisticated look. I found these ivory trouser pants from H&M and I'm actually really impressed with the quality of them. They're mostly a viscose fabric and they feel really nice. I accidentally bought a four here and the six actually fits a lot better and I have to go back and exchange them. But these are very classic, traditional style and I don't think anyone would have any idea that you only paid like $30 for them. The sage green and cream top is also from H&M and I love everything about it. it is, I'm wearing a size medium and it is a bit oversized. So if you did wanna get this and you wanted it to not be quite so over, oversized I would size down but I feel like paired with the trousers and then brown sandals it feels very effortless like I spend my summers in Nantucket it is badly thunderstorming out and it is super dark and a lot of times I rely on natural light I don't have that right now um, I really hope this looks okay both the jeans and top are from H&M here and this has to be one of my favorite neutral color combinations I feel like it always looks sophisticated and expensive and no one would guess that your entire outfit was less than $60 I also put together a three-piece beige outfit with this suede jacket from H&M this jacket is really nice it's perfect for the weather we have here where I don't need anything super heavy but I need it to be heavy enough to keep me warm and it's in a neutral color it's just you know very timeless I don't see this going out of style anytime soon and I felt like it looked and felt like really good quality so still going with the neutral looks here I also got these faux leather cream pants from H&M and I feel like they have an edgier effect in the trousers but still look put together and sophisticated I've been on the hunt for cream faux leather pants and everywhere has always been sold out or it just didn't look like they I would like the style. So I was really excited to find these. I've also said before, I love mixing textures. So I like the faux leather with the more softer knits. I feel like that gives the outfit more dimension and more depth and just makes it a little more interesting. I also feel like cream leather and cream faux leather is something we'll still be talking about in the springtime. I may not be able to wear it as long as some of you guys, but I definitely think this is something that can move into the next season. Also, by the way, I know someone's gonna comment like, H&M is fast fashion and whatever. It's not fast fashion if you buy something and keep it and take care of it and don't just throw it away in three months. So you can make fast fashion, slow fashion, and I'm just trying to help you and myself find items that look like they'd be good quality and hold up and look good for years to come so that we can, if we buy anything, we can get it and keep it and wear it and not just you know keep going through clothing left and right okay so let's go away from beige for a second and I want to tell you about the jeans that I found from H&M so I did try on a whole bunch of jeans and you would think that the sizing would all be the same with every single jean but it was not I definitely think their bottoms run small so if you are between sizes I would go up a size and I would even try maybe the next size just to see how they fit there's two pairs of jeans I loved from H&M was really pleasantly shocked by I've shown these to you in another video but one of them are these black straight leg or they're kind of boot cut slim fit high-waisted jeans and they have a lot of stretch in them they're very similar to the mother denim jeans that i have and they fit amazing i'm like shocked at how well these fit and how much i love them then i also have these washed black denim jeans they're straight leg and i've mentioned in another video how i've just really been loving washed black denim i feel like it's more elevated than regular blue denim and i just feel like it looks so great with so many of my tops these are very similar to my washed black 
a goldy jeans. I love the look of them and I love the cut. So with the black jeans, I paired them with this black and white sweater, which is also from H&M. Very soft, very comfy, comfy, not itchy at all. Very cozy and warm if you live in a really cold climate and you still need this kind of thing. This is a great thick sweater. And I also feel like it's very classic, like it's never really going to go out of style. A black and white turtleneck sweater is never going to look outdated. Wow, it is storming outside and um, it looks like nighttime. It's not nighttime. <laughs> I necessarily think you need a belt with this outfit, but I do love adding a belt here and I feel like it makes the outfit look a little bit more elevated. It adds that third item. So I did not venture into the belt territory with H&M because I feel like a belt can kind of make or break your look. And if it's a really cheap looking belt and they've skimped on the hardware and stuff, which I'm pretty sure H&M does, um, I feel like it'll kind of cheapen your whole look. So what I would rather do is have the, my whole outfit be very inexpensive, but then elevate it with a really nice belt, like a leather belt with great hardware, with a great look and feel to it. It makes a whole outfit look more expensive. That's just my personal beliefs. You do you. You're definitely gonna see more of these jeans um, <laughs> further in the video. Okay, so let me show you some of the tops that I got from H&M, and I was very pleasantly surprised um, and how much I liked some of these thinner layering tops. I call them layering tops because it's like this one right here. Um, I like it by itself. It's working for what I got going on right now, but I really feel like ultimately this is, these are really great for layering underneath jackets or a vest or a third item. They're thin, but not too thin. Like you can't, they're not sheer. Like one of the things to look out for with inexpensive clothing is it, is it sheer and it's not supposed to be sheer? Like, can you see straight through? it you know you don't want that so none of these were like that except there were a few that were like that I didn't buy those I bought one of them and I will show that to you in a second um, why I don't like it but these layering tops were really great there's a couple that are ribbed there's this one that's striped I definitely feel like the black and white top has a very like French girl kind of look the blue one it is in the same fabric and I don't like it by itself it's just I feel a little too exposed with it. It's still a great layering piece, but I will specifically only use that to layer with. It will not be used as a regular top for me. The way that I would wear these tops as just a top and not as only a layering piece is I would pair them with a looser or more wide leg bottom or just something with like a boot cut or a straight leg. Or if I was wearing skinny jeans, I would make sure there's a chunky boot at the bottom, just something to balance it out so it's not all tight. So now let me show you some printed tops that I found that I, <laughs> I was a little shocked at myself that I liked these. Um, these are not gonna be for everybody, I'll just warn you. I really liked them. And H&M um, is doing a lot of black and white right now. I mean, there just seems to be a lot of black and white prints in the store. And I love black and white and I really liked them. So, so the first top is this long sleeve. Um, it's very lightweight, more of a dressy style top with a small floral print. I love the high neck. I love the small florals and I liked the teeny weeny puff at the shoulder. It's not too much or anything. And for Florida, I love the weight of this. It's very, very lightweight, but it's not, again, it's not sheer. You can't see through it when you're not supposed to be able to see through it. It's definitely a top that you're going to want to tuck all the way in, but it would be really great for a work outfit with like black trousers pants black pants um, and then you can make it more casual with blue denim I love it I think my favorite way to wear this was with the washed black denim and then I also tried it with my brown leather pants which I really love black and brown together and I love all neutrals together but I don't know if I'm 100% feeling <laughs> this outfit um, it just seems like too much going on for me but you know I just thought I'd share with you my experimentation I also got a button down that has a funky black and white print and it's I, I the only way I can describe it is it's so ugly it's cute I feel like it's kind of retro in a way I like it buttoned all the way up and um, it's again, it's a lightweight fabric, but it's not sheer when it's not supposed to be. And it just, you know, it works great tucked in. I love it with my black denim or washed black denim. Great underneath things, as you guys saw in my shoe video. I like this one a little better with the brown leather pants. 
And then the other black and white item I got, you're like, why do you need so much black and white, Anna? Um, I don't know, I just was in, in a black and white moment, I guess, <laughs> um, is this dress. It's got a black and white kind of geometric print. If you've watched any of my videos, you probably know that I like to remove the belt that comes along with these dresses and put on my own really nice leather belt. I feel like it immediately elevates the look. It just makes it look more expensive than it is. So I would definitely suggest doing that to any dresses with those little fabric belts. And then I love this paired with boots um, because you know we're in winter months right now, but this could easily be paired with like some nude sandals during the springtime and you know it could even be something you wear over jeans and boots as well that's kind of been a big trend wearing dresses over jeans so if that's your thing that might be something you want to try Ooh. <laughs> can you hear the thunderstorm so this next top it's got to be one of my favorites that i found i'm really really love this top and i love it because it's just definitely gonna be a spring top not so much a winter top but it's a linen blend and i love linen blends because that means that it's got the linen feel and the linen look but since it's a blend with synthetic fibers it's not going to wrinkle as bad as 100 percent linen outfits do i love the color that jeez are we done? I always think of the sound of music whenever I hear big thunderstorms. It's when the lightning talks to the thunder. Well, it sounded Australian. I don't, that sounded terrible. Anyway, um, the red top. I love it and it's cropped. You definitely, well, I definitely need to wear it with, with high waisted pants. Nobody wants to see this area. Um, and I was even able to tuck it in a little bit in the front to my jeans, uh, which you don't have to, but it's like a kind of a cropped, but not super cropped. Oh, okay, this is a little scary. <laughs> uh, my dog's here. He, he's scared too. <laughs> We're gonna stick together, Grover. <laughs> okay. Um, so this red top, it looks great with high-waisted pants, high-waisted jeans. I can definitely see this looking really cute with a high-waisted wide leg pant in the spring. I can see this looking really beautiful with like a high-waisted maxi skirt in the spring. Um, it looks great with denim. I just really see myself wearing this a lot this spring and summer, and I just love the sleeve length. So anyway, great top. I think it's only like $17. Um, I was really impressed with this one. And I don't think it looks like just an H&M shirt. I also got a couple of really thick, chunky knit sweaters from H&M. I really love the colors in these. They look very vibrant. I haven't washed these yet, but um, I do know that they will exchange items that have um, lost their color when you wash them. I would definitely not like wash on hot water and dry it or anything like that, but it looks like a really good quality color dye in, in there, to me anyway. So I just thought these sweaters were kind of fun. They're in fun colors. And like I said before, I love color sometimes, especially like days like this where I might start feeling like, ugh, you know, it's just kind of gloomy. I like a beautiful bold color whether it looks expensive or not i really don't care it just it's something that makes me feel good it makes me happy these are cropped but they're not too cropped and you can kind of do a little front tuck if you want to but they're cropped enough where you can leave them out of your pants and they don't they don't hang so low that they cut you off at your hips so let me show you a couple examples of things that i really did not like from h m um, that i do feel like looks really cheap and um and then i'll show you a couple items that have no business being in this video but i'm just going to show you because i love them and i bought them and they're here okay so first item was this taupe t-shirt i love the color i love the idea i love the sleeve length and everything but it has this kind of like shiny plasticky look to it that you may not notice at first but if you really look at it it's like it just it just does not look like a nice fabric it also feels like you know it's probably going to stretch out as the day goes on like it's going to stretch out really easily um, not impressed with this top at all. It definitely was not expensive, but not even worth $5 because it just, it would definitely be something that I think would fall apart. So that was one of the ones I did not like. In the store, the, some of the sweaters were just really thin. Um, I bet you if you look at reviews online, they'll probably, people will probably say like, you know, this sweater was only $17, but it was really thin and just, you know, you can almost see through it. So there was a lot of sweaters like that at H&M. I do think you have to be careful there. 
um, because anything that just like if you're if it's you haven't even washed it and worn it yet and it already just kind of feels a little plasticky and like it's going to stretch out it, it definitely will it's not going to look any better after you've washed it seven times so i would be careful of those items i was trying to find an ivory cream knit top for this video because that would be beautiful and it would look expensive and um, that would be great to wear with a lot of these items i just couldn't find one that i really liked in h m maybe they have one now i'm gonna look and i'll link anything i find that might work that maybe they didn't have whenever i was there earlier um but i did bring home this ivory sweater just as an example it just um there's a lot that i don't like about it the actual fabric just kind of looks a little bit cheap it doesn't feel that great it feels like it's going to stretch out i don't like where it hits me it, it kind of cuts me off in a weird place and then it has these slits in the side so i can't even really do a front tuck i have to just leave it out I'm five six it does not hit me in a great place i don't like it i feel like it looks cheap on me so that was a fail and then like i said before a lot of the jeans were not i just I, I i'm shocked that i found these two that i love from h m because the other ones were just so horrible and they, they had a bad fit they just didn't fit right they didn't look good the wash was like a little too blue um the distressing on it was a little bit too like man-made kind of want to look out for that stuff like really look at the distressing that they put on it if it looks too specific and like someone like painted it on it's going to look a little bit cheap now i did find these other jeans that i that did fit me well and i liked ish i think i was actually just excited because they fit me and the other ones just look so horrible i was like oh thank goodness there's one that doesn't look absolutely hor horrible on me um but it's a little bit too wide leg for me i don't really think it's my style I'll show them to you, but um, I am going to return these because even though I do like them, they're just not really my style. I don't think I'll wear them. They're, you know, great for somebody else, but I doubt I'll wear them as much as I, you know, would get the most use out of them. Okay, two things I bought that I don't expect anyone to love them. I love them, but one is this pink and red sweatery top. I actually mentioned this in another video when I was talking about how the head to toe pink and red, I'm like, I don't know about that. But I like things that have pink and red already in them. And this sweater is one of them. I really love this sweater. We went roller skating the other day with my daughter and I wore it roller skating to the skating rink. Um, it just it seemed great for that kind of event. But for some reason, the color's making me happy. The stripe's making me happy. The retro vibe, I really love. Really loving this top. The other item I bought was this like kind of disheveled looking faux fur coat i'm going to need this kind of thing for an event i have much later in the year went ahead and bought this because the event is going to be um closer to august and i know i will not be able to find that in july so i went ahead and bought this but it's really for a specific event i think it's kind of a funky coat it's very like um almost famous that's what the, the movie it reminds me of very like retro again it's anyway it's a very specific jacket very casual again i don't expect anyone to love this I love it and um, yeah another item I got that I'm gonna to have to return it's this oversized cream blazer now I will say the blazer itself is a really nice blazer it's lined the buttons feel nice like it doesn't feel like a super cheap H&M blazer the fabric looks really nice it feels really nice I really actually think this is a really nice blazer but it is an oversized blazer and I got a medium which should normally fit me just great but it's too oversized for me it's too long for me so this might be better for like a taller person um, or you know it might actually be better in a size small which is what I'm going to try whenever I'm able to go back but it is a great blazer it just doesn't quite fit me the way that I want it to so those were the items I found from H&M that I felt like you could wear and mix with your other items that you have in your closet that can still look expensive still look nice and polished and put together and no one's going to be like ah you paid $15 for that at H&M unless you have the exact same item and you could recognize it um that would be the only way <laughs> anyway let me know what you think i hope you enjoy this video and i apologize for the thunderstorm cannot help that i will link everything down below that i have talked about or worn in this video and i will see you next time